long journey ahead of us. Come on, Sniffs. I heard it's going to storm in a little bit, so you better be prepared. Mm. Oh, thanks for the directions. Hey, uh, Sniff, this isn't a rock, is it? Whoa! That kind of hurt. It's not a big deal. So long as we have this map, nothing could possibly go... I get it! Uh, it could be anywhere in this... It could, it could be anywhere in this rubbish. Just keep looking, and That creature took it! Don't let it get away, Sniffs! Ah, finally. Now we got this map, and... Sniffy, I tell you, that's a creature eat creature world. Uh, this might be a good place to rest for now. Uh, time to go soon. Shut up. Whoa, fellow travelers, you look tired, so why not take a breather and sit with me? <sighs> sure. Here, a free meal for you. Oh boy, good idea. I've been starving. I'm out here in a search for knowledge. We're out in these parts searching for that, uh, clay mountain? Oh, clay mountain is in this general direction. But be careful of the new anti-clay. I don't know anything about this anti-clay, but we've been ambushed on our way here by two unusual creatures. Could this correlate? On my quest of knowledge, I've learned a lot about this. It all began long, long ago. Our world was united and peaceful. As a matter of fact, we had huge cities across the planet. Conflict rarely rose to significance. It was pretty fair to say that our ancestors lived in harmony. So what happened? Ah, not many recall what exactly changed the world, but I've done my research. Long ago, there was an evil entity in outer space. Not many are sure on its origins, but it was making its way to our world. Making matters worse, a few other species, or aliens, if you will, worshipped it and followed it on its path to our planet. So how did that change everything exactly? These cultists following the entity referred to it as the Anti-Clay, and tried to convince people to allow it to roam free on our world. Once the Anti-Clay reared its head and was seen for the first time by our ancestors, it began killing our people and harvesting their plaspicine flesh. Whoa. People feared the anti-clay, so they begged its worshippers to do something. They merely told everyone to either adore the creature or run for their lives. Months passed with the anti-clay being present, and our armies tried to fend it off, but with very little progress. However, Two of these cultists decided to go after a specific individual that attempted to kill the anti-clay weeks earlier. W wait a specific individual? What did they want from him? They were to use him as a sacrifice to please the anti-clay, 
as not only do you need to gain the Antiquay's respect to control it, but it also hungered for revenge. The target they sought after was an experienced soldier, and his final experience in the army was the Battle of the Antiquay. He was the only known survivor of the attack of Elden, a pivotal point in our defense in the city of Elden. What happened to the soldier? At this point, the specifics have been lost in time, but then war broke out, and a faction rose to fight off the remnants of the cultists and the Antiquay. It was utter chaos, with many lives lost. But then, after the war had ended, the Leaf Child banished the Antiquay to the underground sewers once they had weakened it significantly. Is this where it ends? Not quite. After the banishment of the evil we come to hate, there was a long, thousand-year period of peace and reconstruction. Eventually, the Leaf Child became a king sometime in this period during his long life. He started a treasure collection, but at one point he has lost one of his prized possessions that was somehow misplaced to the sewers. He knew the Antiquay was lingering in the depths below, so he hired an explorer and his companion to retrieve it. What became of them? Down in the depths, they found the statue the king had lost, but also encountered a weaker form of the Antiquay. Somehow during the battle, the Antiquay got incredibly injured and deformed from combat, meaning it would have to reconstruct itself like it does after every battle. Most sources indicate that the Antiquay was flushed into the pipes and to the surface during the battle. While the adventurer returned the statue to its rightful owner successfully, the Antiquay began to run amok. So that means it's still out there, right? There have been countless reports since, and a lot of them typically have varying descriptions of the beast, meaning it has reformed itself dozens of times. This means it could look like anything at this point. Uh, on a completely different topic. Can you tell me again which direction that clay mountain is in? Well, it is somewhere down this path. You'll see it when you find the graveyard of corpses. That's all I need to know. Sniffs, get the weapon! No, no, no. Please don't leave. I've been rather lonely. Say ya? Uh, and I'll take that as well. Whoa, oh. Clay Mountain is somewhere in this area. It's all a matter of finding it now. Do you sense it yet? This is me. It is hard to understand him. Yeah, man. <sighs> Something's out there. At least there's four of us. Make that five. I'd never leave a fellow adventurer behind. I brought you some TNT to blow this beast up. Mmm, it works well. Surprised to see you here. And about that. Oh, boy, just huh? into the ground. Stay calm, everyone. <laughs> Put that to use! That thing will be back! Rush towards Clay Morton! Better grab this TNT. I'm not gonna leave these behind. <laughs> Hand, so we'll be able to light up some TNT for that worm. Oh, crap, he's on that thing, and he's beating it up. Hey, that's the that. And that, and hey, uh, you want the hard hand? The TNT 
TNT is much more sensitive than I thought. It's perfect! We could easily end this abomination quickly! Hey, stupid! Wait a minute! Did we not bring any tools to harvest with? Oh my... What? Thank you.